Now, I actually just had to cut the f out of the mad thing. Like, bro, I swear to God. So, I must have went radio rooftop bar the other day, my guy. We're in Radio Rooftop, we're having a good time, drinks are flying, cocktails are going. If you don't know Radio Rooftop, it's a bar in central London. Nice one, sexy. If you want to go there, trust me. Obviously, we're sitting down, it's just four of us. We look across, we see a table of four. Nice, four sweet melanin girls. Okay, one of them was a, one of them was on you, boy, but you know, we, we don't discriminate. So I've called the waiter over and I said, waiter, bring me the bill for that table. Waiter brings the bill, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We pay the bill, the girls are getting ready to leave. And they've obviously asked the waiter for the bill. I can tell by the gesture of the waiter that he's explaining to them that, yo, them man over there paid for your bill. So the girls are like, raw, he's there. So their bill was kind of brazy. I'm not even going to lie. If you've been Radio Rooftop, you know, like, it's, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. So cool. The girls have come over to our table. They're like, oh, thank you. What's your name? We're hitting it off with them. Everything is flying smooth. Cut a long story short. I've got one of their details, we're talking, it's sweet, it's nice. Now today, we said, oh, let's link up, do, do, do. let's go do a little satin, rare, rare, rare. She was like, yeah, I'm down, I'm down, like, you should come through. Now, obviously, she's telling me she's got her own place, do, do, do. she does this, that, and the other. I'm like, cool. I was like, I, I, I'm more comfortable with you coming to mine, you know, I'll be real, because I've been in situations, you know. But she insisted, she said, no, I'll get you a cab to me, do, do, do. I said, no, I can drive there, it's calm. She said, no, like, just in case if you want to go back home and you don't want to stay the night and we're going to be drinking and rare, 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 so there's no point of view. Da, 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 da. I said, okay, got ready, made my way here. And you know, we're having a good time. We're drinking, we're smoked, whatever, we've spoken. We're lipsing. I'm grabbing yash. We're getting to the good bits. And she's like, I can't lie to you, before like, we go anywhere, I, I, like, I just need to tell you. I'm like, well, go on. She said, I was a boy before i said what the f do you mean you're so what the f at that stage now i'm f furious yeah i'm flipping furious because this lgbtq community you know are taking a f piss bro what you told me this from the off from the off you can clearly see i'm a straight guy like you're gonna tell me this from the off from time you know what the transgender community or the transgender people don't do not do themselves favors when they do f like that yeah, I think that look, if if you hook up with a transgender person, that's fine. But you need to the transgender person needs to make the person aware. If you're going into a club and you see a guy walking up to a, someone that is presenting as a woman, that should tell you that they're into women. So you should probably tell them that you used to be a man. A lot of people are getting onto this guy and saying you should have taken that to the grave. And whilst I would have taken it to the grave as well myself, I have. <laughs> He covered his face though, so No, he well that just showed, <laughs> no. he didn't This boy is like definitely gonna know who he is. Yeah, well we all know who he is because I've got another video, but I have untold amounts of respect for this guy for even sharing that story and bringing Absolutely. bringing that awareness to this because that is happening. There are people out here that are going to clubs and kissing people that they think are women and they're not. It's it's unfair to trick people into a non-binary relationship when they're not ready for that yeah do you know what annoys me uh, outside this is a, obviously a funny video he's been getting roasted online for it I, he has all my respect you know he didn't do anything wrong as far as i'm concerned he raised awareness absolutely not but what i find funny about this is that transgender people want us to be welcoming to to their beliefs and whatever and that's fine i can be i'm never going to walk up to a transgender person and be horrible because they're a human being so you want to live your life the way you want to live your life by all means, go ahead. I'll, I'm, I'm friends with trans people. I'll make friends with trans people in the future. But if I go to a club and you see me looking at you because I think that you're a woman, where I've respected your humanity, you need to respect what I'm into as well. And if you see me checking you out and you're coming over to me, luckily this, isn't, this has not happened to me, God forbid, and we're talking, you need to let me know. You need, you need to let guys know, or girls. They have to know. Can you imagine you were in a club, sub and you were grinding on this guy, and you're dancing and whatever, and then he's like, I had to tell you something. I used to be a woman. I don't know why. This might sound bad. People are probably going to come for me in the comments, but I think if it was a woman who's tr gone to a, being a man, it's not as bad you would, wait, you'd be okay with it? Um, 
Do you think you'd be ready for a non-binary relationships? No, I just without think having sp- spoken about it, someone just puts it on you after you've basically made out. I'd I'd be a bit disheartened because that's not what I'm into, but I wouldn't be mad about it. I mean, fair enough. If you if you're not gonna get, I'd be. Mm. I'd it's be, very open minded of you. Mm. Yeah, I'd be absolutely livid. I would be livid. But I think, actually, I'm not even gonna say it. No, say it. No, on. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Are you into girls? No, I'm not into girls. No, unfortunately, not. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was at this rate, but I can't bring myself to. Yeah. He's, he posted another video because basically people were ripping into him. People were getting into him getting onto him for posting it saying you should have taken that to the grave you know guys are going to get onto you uh for the rest of your days i'm not in that camp i'm i'm quite happy that you posted that video although it is funny i laughed at it several times i think that you posting that not only is a brave thing to do extremely brave people need to know it. this is happening and where we're living in a changing society where you know a lot of uh, there, there are some transgender people you cannot tell i saw a video the other day on instagram of this Mexican boy who then transitioned to a woman, you would never know. You would never know. First of all, because it was a very petite guy. And so when he transitioned, I think he was like 5'3 or 5'2. You'd have no idea. None whatsoever. If you were to sleep with that person, because I think they'd gone through all the surgeries and they never told you, that is deception. You can't do that to people. It doesn't matter if you look like a woman. It It is lying, yeah. Yeah, what matters is how the other person feels. Does that fall under any law? Like... Deceiving people like that? No. Well, because well, some people like might lie and pretend that they're rich and they're not. Or do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I think when it comes to sex, it's a bit different because that's a, a massive invasion of privacy. Yeah, I know, but this person hasn't before she it's gotten to that stage. She said, "By the way, I used to be a boy." Yeah, fair enough. Even if it's kissing, you need to you need to tell people beforehand. You, you have to. I don't think it's fair to, to not do that. We can be accepting and accept that it's a changing world. You, you need to make those accommodations as well. No, hold on for a second. F*** a part two. I'm not giving you a lot of part two because you lot are disgusting. Like, you lot are actually disgusting, bro. You lot are the same people, right? If I said, oh, I came here and I beat up the transgender for lips in me and this, this, that and the other, you lot will be calling me transphobic, this, this and that and the other. But you lot are saying that you will take that secret to the grave. Like, people should be ashamed of transgenders. You see what I'm saying? Like, our, bro, our society will never evolve, fam. Our society is coming into a society where people are, you get me, gay, lesbian, queer. You know what I'm trying to say? They're transgender. They're, you know, they're literally going from one stage to another. And there's people like you lot out there saying, right, I will take that shit to the grave. Like, no, nah, like, you need to let people know this shit's going on, G. Now, I understand I have nothing against transgenders. My only thing is, I want transgenders, please hear me out. Tell people, if you can see that someone's clearly straight and they like women, tell them from the off. Just be, just... Big respect for this guy, man. He's got... Yeah. He's got balls to be doing that. Hella logic, hella valid points. No, he's right. I respect him. I personally would have taken it to the grave. I don't... You got bigger balls than me. I wouldn't have done that. But I respect you for doing that. I don't think people should be clowning him. He's right. Because on one hand, like, it's true. Like, if, if he had said, oh, I'm going to go tear this person's place up for doing that to me, he would have got a stick for that. He's getting a stick for this. You can't, you can't win you can't on social win. media. You can't win. You can't. You can't. The only victim here is him. He's the only one that lost out here. He's been victimized on social media, and he was basically taken advantage of by this transgender person. But he did the right thing. More people need to know. And more trans people need to be more responsible with what they're doing. I'm not saying don't go to a club and mingle and take people home. Um, there's loads of people that are open to sleeping with transgender people. Loads and loads. Most people don't mind. I, I know somebody. <laughs> I know, I'm know. i not going to tell their story on camera. But they'll f***ing kill me. But I know somebody that got with a transgender person. They didn't know at the time, but then they were okay with it. It would have been better if the transgender person had just told them in the beginning. Luckily for them, they were fine with it. And then they just then they continue to sleep with them. But some people don't like it. So just be honest with them, be accepting of what other people's preferences are and their outlooks on the world, the way you want them to be accepting of you and there won't be any problems. But shout out to this guy, man. That was brave to go on social media and tell that story. I would have done it. I I wouldn't even have told you guys. (laughs) Yes, you would have. I wouldn't have told you guys. Are you crazy?